The gluteus maximus is the largest muscle in your body. In fact, it's a huge ass muscle. Today, I'm going to recap a 1989 action sport film called Kickboxer. As the movie unfolds, we witness a clash between two athletes in the world of kickboxing. One of them is christened Eric Sloan. He overcomes his opponent in the fourth round, securing his place as the reigning world champion in his respective weight division. Eric is then beckoned to showcase his prowess in Thailand, accompanied by his brother, Kurt. They immerse themselves in the local scenery, exploring the unfamiliar territory of this unique country. Eric effortlessly manages to charm a local girl with flowers and escorts her to their hotel. During a workout session, the brothers reflect on their upbringing, reminiscing about their parents' aspirations for their futures, which starkly contrasts with who they have become. Kurt, lacking in combat skills, supports his brother in his endeavors. They arrive together at the battleground where Eric is scheduled to fight. As Kurt leaves to fetch ice for his brother, he unexpectedly stumbles upon Eric's adversary. He is taken aback by the man's deranged gaze and his powerful kick that sends a cloud of plaster flying off a concrete column. Despite Kurt's urgent warning, Eric remains undeterred, confident in his abilities and certain of his impending victory. As the battle commences, Eric takes a fall in the initial round, but quickly regains his footing. His rival inflicts relentless, brutal attacks that he's unable to withstand. Kurt senses his brother's impending defeat and attempts to dissuade him, but Eric's stubbornness propels him back into the ring. His opponent seizes the moment to floor him, landing a devastating blow to his spine. All of this is witnessed by Kurt, who, when he tries to intervene, is brutally thrown out of the ring by the frenzied kickboxer. The new champion callously discards the championship belt, and Eric is unceremoniously discarded onto the street like a hapless stray. An American named Taylor steps in to assist him. A hospital nurse informs them that they can visit Eric only the following morning, so Kurt spends a restless night in the hospital corridor. The subsequent morning, the doctor delivers the grim news. Eric is paralyzed, unable to walk, and will remain hospitalized for another three months. Overwhelmed with sorrow and anger, Kurt contemplates seeking revenge against his brother's assailant, but Taylor discourages him. The only way to exact revenge would be to confront the kickboxer in the ring, but does Kurt possess the necessary strength for such a fight? Kurt wanders around Thai temples, struggling to grapple with his situation. In his travels, he discovers a local gym and requests a fight with Tong Po, the man responsible for his brother's state, only to be met with mockery. Taylor intercepts him outside the gym, suggesting that a certain Xion might be able to train him. They plan to visit Xion the next day, but for the moment, Taylor is eager for some lighthearted fun and they head to a strip club. Taylor indulges in drinks while sharing stories from his life, with Kurt limiting himself to water and smoke. But what motivates Taylor to assist Kurt? He explains drawing a parallel with a friend from his Vietnam days who found himself in trouble when Taylor was not around, making him resolve to be there for Kurt now. In the early hours of the day, they journey to Xeon's abode. Nestled amidst the jungle, his residence is a humble hut. Taylor advises Kurt not to upset Xeon. Upon approaching the house, Kurt unsuspectingly triggers a trap, leaving him hanging upside down. In this vulnerable position, he meets Sion. As they exchange introductions, the recent defeat of an American kickboxer comes up, and Kurt reveals that the defeated fighter was his brother. Sion unties the rope, letting Kurt fall to the ground. Kurt pleads with Sion to train him, but Sion advises patience. Despite this, Kurt remains insistent. Sion tasks him with buying lunch groceries from his niece Miley's store. At the store, Miley informs Kurt about her uncle's decision to quit teaching and desire for solitude. She finds it peculiar that Xi'an agreed to train him. It's revealed that Tong Po holds sway over these lands. As two menacing individuals attempt to snatch Miley's belongings, Kurt steps in, overpowering the bullies. However, this intervention angers Miley as she fears it will only lead to trouble. Regardless, she hands over the groceries Xi'an requested. Kurt makes his way back to Xi'an's hut, just as Taylor arrives with a bag of essentials. Kurt settles into the hut for his stay. The dawn brings a sudden awakening for Kurt, triggered by a splash of water, marking the beginning of his training. 
Observing Kurt's lackadaisical pace during a run, Sion ties a slab of raw meat to his leg, prompting a dog to chase after him. A shared dinner with Zeon's niece sparks a romantic interest between Kurt and Miley, leading to a shared kiss. As the intensity of the training escalates, Tong Po continues to claim victims. During a session, Sion instructs Kurt to kick a palm tree. After numerous kicks, Kurt reaches his limit, fearing a broken leg if he continues. Sion declares Kurt unfit for his home and announces the end of training. However, Kurt refuses to leave. Sion invokes the memory of Kurt's brother, which reignites his determination. Ignoring the pain, Kurt unleashes a powerful kick, toppling the palm tree. Thus, the training persists. After a period, Sion takes Kurt to a local bar for some relaxation. He encourages Kurt to unwind with some dancing. As Kurt moves to the rhythm, he attracts the attention of a group of thugs who launch an attack. Kurt neutralizes them effortlessly, but when he turns to find Sion, he finds his trainer outside, negotiating fights with formidable opponents. Kurt is baffled by the unexpected attack, only to learn that Sion had provoked the thugs to test Kurt's new abilities. Kurt's inaugural fight in the ring is a testament to his intensive training. His powerful kicks immediately incapacitate his adversary, resulting in a knockout. The crowd's chants of White Warrior underscore the respect Kurt has earned. At night, a newspaper headline about Kurt's forthcoming fight catches Eric's eye, igniting his fury, for there was a time when he was the boxer gracing the headlines. He arrives at Kurt's residence the next morning, planning to stay and persuade Kurt to avoid a confrontation with Tong Po. Just then, they receive a letter confirming the impending duel. Frenny Lee is revealed to be the orchestrator of this match, with the stipulation that the combatants will engage in traditional fighting style. Lee takes a million-dollar loan from his boss to place a bet on Tong Po. The drama escalates when Miley, Kurt's love interest, is abducted and assaulted by Tong Po's followers, with the kickboxer himself violating the girl. Eric too is kidnapped by these same individuals, who severely harmed Sion's dog, intending to unsettle our protagonist. The day of the battle draws near. As the ritual mandates, they immerse their bandages in resin, then in shards of broken glass. Amidst this charged atmosphere, Kurt remains composed. Prior to the fight, Freddy Lee approaches Kurt with a proposition to deliberately lose every round to ensure Eric's safety. The fight that ensues is fierce, with Kurt taking a beating and falling to the mat while Xian ventures off on a mission. During the second round, Kurt manages to resist Tong Po's onslaught to an extent. Simultaneously, Xian infiltrates the location where Eric is detained, attempting a rescue. However, he finds himself ensnared. Taylor arrives just in time to assist, gunning down the remaining villains. Eric is now safe, freeing Kurt from the pressure of their blackmail. The fight resumes and Tong Po slashes Kurt's abdomen, splattering blood everywhere. Tong Po's revelation of Miley's assault incites fury in Kurt. As the next round is about to start, Eric makes his presence known to Kurt, signaling that he's safe. The crowd joins in, chanting White Warrior in Thai. Remembering his rigorous training, Kurt requests his bandages to be removed. Unleashing an extraordinary display of speed and power, Kurt launches a relentless barrage of strikes on his adversary, who is eventually flung out of the ring. Reduced to a whimpering child, Tong Po seizes a torch and charges at Kurt, who expertly parries all incoming attacks. As Tong Po attempts to flee, Kurt approaches him and delivers a knockout blow, not just for Miley and Eric, but also for the villagers who had lived in fear of Tong Po's henchmen. Frenny Lee doesn't escape unscathed either, getting a well-deserved blow. The victory is celebrated in the company of Sion, Eric, Taylor, and Miley, instilling a sense of hope that they will indeed be okay. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.